Let's look at internal orders and the financial postings with internal orders in SAP S4 HANA Finance. In this presentation, we will cover defining internal order types, creating an internal order. So you need to first define the order types and from that the master data attributes will be derived when you create an internal order. Post some expenses to an internal order. Then settle the internal orders to a cost center or any other cost object. This only happens with real internal orders. Assigning budget values for internal orders and check out some internal order reports. Let's look at the menu path for the defining internal order types. So I'm just going to enable the attribute information so I can see the if there is any short transaction codes for them. Let's go to display key, click on attributes. Then I go under controlling because internal orders is part of the controlling module. And then I go to internal orders over here and I can see order master data. Now if you have enabled the controlling area, you can also activate the order management that is to ensure that order management is active in controlling area. Once it is active only, you can start to define the order types. So I'm going to define the order types. So short transaction code is KOT2. So let me click on that. And this brings up to the screen. Now by default, SAP has already given some model internal orders. You could use them or you could also create your own internal order types. Now for example, I see this 0400 internal orders for marketing. So let me create a marketing internal order and later I'll create settle this to a cost center. In this example, we will use a real internal order. So let me just go and see the attributes of this order type. Just have to double click on that and it brings up to the screen. You can give your own description. I would suggest that if you want to do any changes for the order types, then please copy this order type and create and do the changes. Do not do any changes to the standard order types. Planning profile, settlement profile, CEO partner updates, all this information by standard. If you, you can also go and change this if you require. Uh, for example, the settlement profile I have used number 20. By default, there are some other settlement profiles given. Planning profile, object class and so on. You can see the status profile over here. Do you want to release this internal order immediately or not? Or do you want to go and manually release it? Uh, commitment management is active. So if you have a raise a purchase order and if you assign this internal order, commitment will be active. And different field selections, which fields you want to display or hide or make it mandatory. So I'll just leave this as it is. Let's go back and I will create my internal order using this order type 0400. Now let's look at creating an internal order. The short transaction code of course is KO01 or I can go into the menu path, accounting, controlling, internal orders, master data. You can see there are three different functions there, special functions, order group and current settings. We're not going to create any order groups uh, for now. Let's create a single internal order. So go to special functions, order and create KO01. And here you need to specify your order type. Now it has to be under the same controlling area, ZM00. And my order type, I'm going to choose 0400, internal orders for marketing. Click on enter. Then I can give a description. System will assign an internal number range for this internal order. So I'm just going to say product A marketing 